This is Nathan Edelsberg with The Drum. We're here at the Video Everywhere Summit. Really excited to be here with David Sable, the global CEO of YNR. So, yeah, can you just quickly start by telling us a few highlights from the presentation you just gave? What points do you think uh, resonated the most? So I guess the, the, the presentation that I gave was on video, obviously. We're at the Video Everywhere Conference, but I think that that was the point, that video is everywhere. And that if we have a narrow definition of what TV is, see, if you listen to people, they'll tell you, television is dead, live TV is dead, cable TV is dead. It's all bullshit. It's just not true, right? So because television has a much broader, much bigger, much more powerful meaning than it did when we were younger. So for example, I'm old enough to remember when TV in New York, for example, was just ABC, NBC, CBS, a little bit of NEW if you could find it, PIX, which was 11, and then there was this little station called WOR. That was, that was TV, and then cable came in. And people said, well, cable's not TV, that's something else that's gonna kill the industry. And I'm actually proud that my company, Young and Rubicam, placed the very first ad on cable television because the people back then believed in it. They understood that that was an extension of TV. And I think today, anything you watch on your screen, wherever that screen is, whether it's a screen you carry in your pocket, whether it's a huge screen in your house, whether it's a screen you see outside in a cab or wherever, that is TV. And I think we need to understand. Michael Wolf wrote a great book, Television is the New Television. I highly recommend it. Great. Yeah, that, I love that book. Um, so you mentioned a bit how, you know, if uh, TV didn't have advertising, whatever shape and form TV is in now, content would be very, very expensive. Um, you know, I was curious, there's a lot of change happening in the industry, like Hulu, for example, just launched a no ads version. Do you think that's, you know, something that's good for the industry, something that's bad? And what do you kind of see a place for advertisers on online video like Hulu? The fact that the fact that we can buy subscriptions and not see advertising is troubling. Now, the truth is that cable was once going in that direction because the idea was that you bought a subscription and you wouldn't see advertising. But that went away pretty quickly just because the, the price of great production kept going up and the cost or, or the amount of money you could bring in through subscription just wasn't that high. So there are three ways, I talked about this in my presentation, three ways you can get content. There are only three ways. You steal it, you pay for it, or you watch advertising around it. That's it. Because free is not a sustainable model. If it's free, all you get is the user-generated stuff, you know, the cat peeing on your shoes. Now, you might share it. It might get a million, it might get 10, it might get 50 million shares, but who cares? It's ephemeral, it goes away, it's not monetizable, it does nothing for anybody. So, we want great content, right? People want to see Orange is into Black. They want to see uh, Transparent. They want to see uh, Game of Thrones. I mean, this is the stuff they want to see. Beautifully produced, incredibly powerful stuff. BBC. I'm nuts about BBC productions. What are your favorite shows? Right now I'm watching Lost Kingdom, or Last Kingdom rather, not Lost Kingdom. Um, I loved Sherlock. My wife is absolutely masterpiece theater. I mean, these are, these are great shows. They're done on location. They're amazing. High drama, high production values, great scripts, great acting. Somebody's got to pay for it. I know you talked a little bit about, you know, the three ways in torrenting, illegally downloading. Is that something advertisers are concerned about now more than ever? Or is it just kind of a continued issue? No, I think now more than ever in the sense that we were never worried about free before because the only way you could watch it was broadcast. So today, because I can get it in other ways, it's like pirating, it's like, it's like Microsoft is worried about pirating of software, right? We all, it's, it's the same concept. So yes, it is a concern, but it's a bigger concern to the producer than it is to me because if you're getting it for free, you're not even paying for the subscription. And so it should be a big concern to all watchers, anybody who loves stuff. Because if this stuff gets stolen, and we're just not going to have good production, we're going to be watching cats peeing on our shoes. And frankly, that is not a future that I want to contemplate. Well said. And, and last question. I know you mentioned in 1999 there were a few amount of high-quality television shows, and today there's like 1,700. I think we saw it in the opening to the Emmys where you know Andy Samberg had the whole skit and bit about that just... the only good part of his opening. That opening was brilliant after that was... I agree. I totally agreed. Um, do you think that, you know, now that there's so many series, you know, regardless of it not being cat videos, do you think there's going to be challenges for advertisers to figure out where to place their investments in? And how are you kind of advising them with so much out there? 
So that's what data is all about. And the truth is, that is always what we use data for. So even when there were less shows, you still had to make a, you still had to make a choice. So we use data to try to understand, but not just the data of, that we get from the shows, but also we talk to people. Like, what is it you're watching? You know, I think it's, I think it's astounding to understand that young girls today are watching Friends. It's, it's, it blows my mind. So in, in doing research for the presentation day, I discovered there's a whole stream of people. Friends has had this new incredible renaissance because younger, younger women are watching it. Yeah, and they just got on Netflix too. Yeah. Be because of that, because they're not, they're not stupid, they get it. So this is an amazement to me. This is an ama and it's a beautiful amazement. I'm, I'm, I'm not surprised like, oh my God, I'm surprised. I'm just amazed because it's beautiful. And so it just shows that we just need to understand what people are watching and create the kind of content that people want to see and then figure out how do we link our brands to those things. Thank you very, very much. Really appreciate it.